Five two is the number that you dial. Pick up the phone, dial that number. Norman, are you there? Hello, can I talk to John Laws, please? You're talking to John Laws, thank you. No, I'm surely I'm not. I'm not talking to a feeble old man who should have retired years ago. Oh, poor John, you're pathetic. No, can I ask the handmaidens or the foot soldiers or your or the mother superior to please put you out of your misery? Tell N no, Norman. Can I ask the house the, the mother superior? Tell him he's past it. Norman. Or, or you're a leech and you're leaving off him and that's why you want him to keep going. <laughs> really? That is the only reason you get rolled out of him. You're like Puff the Magic Dragon. You've lost your mighty roar, John. You're sounding pathetic. Your voice is gone. You're pathetic. You're no, Norman. You're no, Norman. <laughs> Excuse me, Norman. Excuse me. Why don't you come in here? I'll, I'll shout you a taxi. Why don't you come in here and tell me all that to my face? I'll tell you why you won't, because you're a grizzling, miserable little coward who hides behind a telephone. You're a piss-sweet little prick. You're 90 years old, John. Please, I, I could blow me... No, Norman, Norman, I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd be very proud to be 90 years old. I'm not actually 90 years old. But if I could do this at the age of 90, I'd be very, very pleased with myself. John. Wouldn't you be pleased if you had a daddy? I doubt you've got a daddy. You're a bastard. Can, but, can, but, I, ask, can I ask people listening to ring up and not pee in your pants, but tell, me, tell you the fair truth that you sound terrible, yet you're really old and you're pathetic and you just keep going on. And nobody, will, everybody rings up as a tell. Okay, well, now hang on a minute, Norman. Hang on. The truth. Uh, Norman, hang on. The truth. Well, Norman. What? What if... What have you asked the listeners to do, to call up and... To ring up and tell the truth that you sound bloody awful. That OK, all right, listeners, would you please, if, you, if you're of that opinion, if you're of that opinion, hey. r ring up and tell me that I sound bloody awful. Yes. I don't think I sound any different to the way I sounded ten years ago. No, 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 you do. You just listen. Yes, you do, you do, you do. Go on. Oh, you're a little weasel. You really are just a little weasel. And all the people feeding off you have need you to for their pay packet, keep rolling you out every bloody day to get out and just embarrass yourself. You're an embarrassment to yourself, John. Am I really? Ah. Well, I tell you, Norman, let me tell you something. It's great fun being an embarrassment to yourself. I'm having a terrific time and I'm making a lot of money too. Oh, yes, John. What can you use your money on? How many more bloody cars can you buy? How many more? How much? Hang, hang on, whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. I don't, I don't want any more cars. Got enough cars. Well, what can you do at your age? God, get What do you mean, what can I do? I could, I'll tell you what I can do. I can do what I'm doing next week. I can go and get on a luxury liner and sail around the world. Oh, how do, you like, how do you like them apples, you little jerk, Norman? Oh, you, you're finally getting on a ship because the planes won't take you because they think you can die. So you're going to finally get on a cruise ship, Tom. I, I've been on plenty of cruise ships prior to this. Oh, I hope to have a COVID outbreak on there, John. Oh, <laughs> God, you're a nasty piece of work. Where, where you, that... you really are. You really are. I don't know whether you make it up or whether you really are just God. A, a thoroughly nasty little human being. I mean, little, little, when I say little, I don't mean little physically necessarily, but you probably are. Little mind. That's what you've got, a little mind. You're a terrible human being. Why don't you invite your listeners on your cruise, John? Or the old... Because it's not my ship, you dill. With their walking sticks and their frames and their bloody wheelchairs to get on the ship with you, and then we can hope it sinks. Yeah, have you got a walking stick or a wheelchair? Oh no, oh, no, Joe, I'm not that old. Oh, so, but, you, but you're a listener, hey? so you're putting yourself into that category. You're brainless, you're stupid, you haven't got the sense, that you haven't got the intelligence to have a rational argument because you're just a thoroughly nasty human being. Hey. And I feel very sorry for you. I feel very sorry for you. I mean, if, if there's anything after this life, I hate to think what's going to happen to you because you haven't, uh, you haven't behaved badly at all, uh, well, at all in your life. You're horrible towards not just me, towards everybody. Listen to you, John. You're getting your words mixed up again. You're, 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 you're... No, I'm just reading something. I'm reading this morning, Lawsy. Norman, the whiny little bitch is back. Oh, no, John. Hey, you can't read and talk at the same time, you old fool. Hey, John, are you going to Kyle's wedding? Please tell me you are. Mind your own business.
Have you, have you been invited, John? Mind your own business. Have you been invited to buy or Kyle's wedding and he's going to see his wife and his, and his kid? How much is she getting paid to have... Aren't you a nasty... Oh, aren't my you, God. God, you're a piece of work. You really are. To marry that fat slob millionaire, she must be getting paid a mint, mate. Hey, what? One year of marriage, one worth a million dollars. Two years of marriage, two million. Oh, i uh, just for you, John. You can you can be a flower boy or something like that, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, John at the wedding. I bet you don't get invited, Johnny. Just uses you like he uses everybody else. Hey, Johnny. Hey, and then oh, just say. Okay, okay. I'll break your heart now. I have been invited. Oh yeah, we are going to sit you, John, right at the back with the oldies. <laughs> Hey, John. Well, aren't, aren't you? Aren't you a piece of God? You're a nasty piece of work. Oh, come on. Hey, John. What about the voice, John? Hey, it's a really just fantastic for you. Hey, all the old farts will ring up and say, "Oh, we can't have the Aborigines." Hey, oh, you go go back. Boomerang won't come back. You can play those songs again, John. Hey. What the hell are you talking about now? Get all your racist you people ring up again and. Yeah, I sure heard you yesterday, hey, trying to muddy the waters, hey? Right, like Dutton's doing, muddy the waters, confuse everybody. Oh, you are bloody hopeless, John. Just talk to Albo. Dear, dear, you, 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 I, you hardly miss a word I say. You must be a very devout listener. There's no doubt about you. you going, a you very, going? a very loyal listener. How, how wonderful it is for me to have listeners like you, loyal, listen every day. Don't miss a word I say. And then quote it all incorrectly, but that doesn't matter. Hey, John. <laughs> hey, Norman. <laughs> yeah, you're going to talk to Albo or not, eh? Does he, does he... Are you going to talk to Albo or not? Yeah, are you, John? Hey, hey, Norman. Does, does he know prick. you're still alive? Does, <laughs> does he know you're still alive? Or oh, he doesn't be bothered because he knows your, your, your people listening is not any... So he doesn't give his stuff anymore, eh? Or everybody cut and might, you know, grab you to, you know, put his views up. Hey, isn't he the best thing for Albo to have the, the undertaker as his opposition leader? Oh, my God. Good on you, Dutton. You get out there and put your face out there and scare all the babies and all the kids. Hey, he's the best thing for the Liberal Party, isn't he? Really, 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 really Norman, what, what is, who's upset you in your life? Were you dropped on your head as a child or something? Have you suffered or sustained a terrible injury? that has caused you to be the monstrous human being that you are, I would be very worried because I think the next step for you is physical damage to another human being. You go out and kill somebody next because you're so nasty. Oh, John, I just wish somebody had dropped you on your head, eh? Bloody, you probably has. You're probably falling over or having a fall all the time now, John, are you? Yeah, yeah, having a fall. Listen, 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 oh, listen. Oh. No, no, Norman, would you just shut up for a minute? I don't resolve from the fact that I am uh, mature in years. I've been around for a very long time, but I do thank God, or whoever is responsible for, for my longevity, that I'm still here, and uh, I'm still able to talk to cretins like you, and that's what you are, you're just a cretin. You're a, you're a terrible human being. Don't talk, don't talk about God, because all your Bible bashes will ring up again. Oh, my God. You don't like anybody, Norman, do you? You're, you're like those old... Don, I heard he got on your station, Don McLean's coming out the tour again. Oh, my God. How pathetic is that? And you're like those old pop stars, the Paul McCartney, and all those people in their 80s who get out there and get on stage and they sing crap, and you get it, and you're just like those people. That nobody can tell you that you're, that you're past it. And you just keep rolling you out. I do. Switch. I do. You won't retire. You just keep... Why, why should I retire? Retire, I'm having... A, I wouldn't be able to talk to you, Norman. My life would suddenly be empty. No, Norman. Oh, that stopped him. No, well, well, I'm, 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 keep going, John. Oh, no, Norman, you missed me, didn't you? Hey? Oh, yes, it, it was tragic. You, you should have seen the tears rolling down my cheeks, Norman. Yeah, I know. I know, John. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll ring up more often just to please you. 
Hey, a bit kind of... Norman, yeah, Norman, hey? enough's enough. You nasty person. I really can't believe that anybody... I can't believe that you're genuine. I think that you're, you're putting it on. I, all I can say is I hope for your sake that you're putting it on, because if you're that nasty, you are sick. Oh, no, come on. Yesterday you said you, you knew Chris Shop. Hey, you knew, you knew Lennon. My God, how far do you go back? Somebody says, oh, did you, did you, did you interview Chris Shop? Oh, my God, you would have been there at the revolution, wouldn't you? You pathetic old creature. Hey? Oh, shot. Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Go on. Keep going. Keep rattling on your old crap you used to go, you go on about. Norman. Norman, I've had enough. In a minute and say, oh, that Norman's terrible. But they won't say the truth. They won't say I'm right because they know I'm right. They've listened to you over the years and they know you're past it. No. <laughs> your voice is gone. Huff the magic dragon you are. You've lost your mighty roar, John. Then you, you, you go back in your cave. Norman. You'll hear you ever again. Norman, please. Hey, oh, what, John? What? What? Before I go, what do you want to say, John? Piss off. I agree with you. You fool of a man. You don't tell me I've lost anything. I haven't lost anything. And I'll tell you what, I still have the will to break your nose. <laughs> that was close, wasn't it? That was close. Oh, but I didn't say it. One three hundred, <laughs> but I'd like to. God, I can't bear that man. I really, I really cannot bear that man. One three hundred five six four six five two. That's the telephone number that you need to dial if you want to talk to us. Uh, Colin.